What's up guys, it's Timo here. Today I'm going to be showing off the long lift battery case. Some of you may be wondering why am I still doing this review now? And it's because many of us have still held on to our old phones and one of those people is me. There are some positive things about this and some negative about this case but if you ask me if I would recommend it, I would say it depends on who you are. This case is pretty thick and it costs $29.79. The weight of it is about a quarter pound just by itself and it holds a massive 4000mAh battery. If you don't know how much is 4000mAh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus has 4100mAh while the iPhone XR has 2942mAh battery. The exterior of the phone, the feeling of it is feels like silicone but it provides a pretty good protection for my phone but at the same time it makes it very dangerous and vulnerable and restricts my daily lifestyle. One big problem I have with this case is the water resistance. The iPhone X can be used underwater but it's not recommended but you can make amazing shots underwater. With this case on you can't even do that anymore because the extra battery isn't water resistance protected. Right now, I'm just going to give you a little bit of time just to enjoy the outdoors since you guys all have finished staying inside. Thank you. One big concern I have for the case is the how, how protected the battery is, you know, the one that's outside. I have an idea how well it protects my phone, but I have no idea how well it does protecting itself. Another problem that I have with this case is the weight of it. You can see outside that it actually looks pretty nice with that nice matte finish but it brings some pretty hefty weight on the phone which makes it especially hard to hold in during long period of time and when, especially when your hands are preoccupied with groceries a phone is supposed to help you and be portable not just there to hold you down Well, here's a quick drop test for you guys. Let's replay that, but in slow mode. Enough with the negativity, what are some good things about it? Well, especially now when you need that extra juice when you're binge watching YouTube or when you're just playing music in the background, you need to charge it. And if you don't have a cable or when it's very inconvenient, you can just hold the button from the back for 3 seconds to turn it on and start charging or press it for 3 seconds again to turn it off. For me, it lasted the whole day from 7am in the morning to 2am in the morning. And remember that this phone has an ever so slightly raised bump so this means that when you drop it face down it does protect the phone unless you have sharp objects around it like gravel and also keep it away from sand. Sand and dust is a really big no. If you are a person who is really down with nature, always going to the beach or really active, this is not the case for you. 
but if you are a person who likes staying at home, enjoying the futuristic life of full of technologies, then this is the case for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Comment down what you liked or want to watch or how I can improve. Thanks for watching. Timo out. I stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways Leave and crumple bodies in my wakes where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change